disappointing loss. Um, a lot of good to build on, but it's a lot of correctable things to work on. So some individuals played well, had a lot of momentum, let it slip away. Call the game better, man's better, make a play. Uh, great job by Rutgers. The kids didn't quit. We talk a lot about that. I thought we got a little, uh, a couple things on the sideline I personally didn't like. Saw some eyes and attitudes where I think uh, you got to stay humble and keep playing. And we didn't and they did. And, and congrats on them on a great comeback. But uh, good football game that we let slip away. Questions? Kevin, how do you come back from this? I mean, you have a huge lead, you lose it at the end. How is it? Is it mental toughness? Is it how do you come back well, I don't know. The, um, I think there's a lot of good, and at the same time, some getting some correctable things. So, I mean, and again, locker room, we didn't go. Um, yeah, we got a great challenge next week going to, going to East Lansing, playing a great Michigan State team. Um, they're, they're an open date, and four to go. And I think we saw, you know, we've, we've been kind of quote anemic on offense, haven't been nowhere. We kind of cranked that back up. We got to get our defense going. They were a little stale and flat footed today, I didn't like, but just. I just um, I really appreciate again the way our kids have battle played and talked this week. But I just want a lot of energy. The kids flying around, having some fun. Thought we had it early in the game. Thought we had it really on offense a lot. Got a little stale at the end offensively. Again, you know, we try to keep again the pedal to the metal. And and you know my deal is that for us to be good, we got to create energy, and we're going to create it again this week. So I'm not going to sit there and blame those kids on anything. We'll coach them better. We'll keep making you know quote mistakes on our end and keep learning from them the best we can. But we're going to keep those kids going hard. It's a great group of dudes. Love them a bunch, play hard, and like I say, we just unfortunately not had enough errors today, starting with the kick out of bounds. They gave them great field position. We have a 25 point lead. So that was the first error. We were off sides and we kicked it out of bounds. And that's where to me, we just got a little too big for ourselves. We mismanaged a couple offensive deals. I know I did a couple things I needed to do a little bit better in some play calling uh, that hurt us. But uh, again, those kids that battled, they're, they'll be very resilient. We'll come back this, uh, tomorrow and have this Sunday. We'll get ready for Michigan State. We'll keep playing. Kevin, you mentioned some specific things there, but losing a 25-point lead in the second half, I mean, big picture, what was the problem there? Well, again, to me it started with a kick out of bounds, good field position, let us work them on a drive. Uh, we came back and right at the end uh, uh, didn't do it. I didn't like our last drive of the, of the third quarter. Uh, ran the ball one time, I think very poorly. Uh, didn't make a good call. It got us behind chains. Um, and from there, we punted, and that's where the punt snap goes over the head, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Might have been the next one. I think it was that one. Maybe, maybe it was the next one. I'm not sure. Um, from there, I thought our defense got a little vanilla. Offensively, we wanted to keep, keep the pedal down, so we came out and had a good drive going there where we threw, a, I think, a slant to Ricky, and we threw a little fade shot down the sideline, and then we didn't manage a, a third and fourth down situation. Our, our third downs, two of ten, went very good. And again, I just think, you know, uh, Danny Friend's little injury to Michael Cooper got rolled up, came back. It's kind of hurt us to tight end. Jordan Howard up there. We we were not the same team we were at Western Kentucky, where we could kind of mulch it out at the end of the game. We were having to play a little bit more of a space spread game. That's just kind of the dynamics of we kind of felt the way the running game had been going. Our best players was put the ball in number seven's hand, let him make the plays for us. And that being said, it probably got us a little bit more one-dimensional as you're trying to ice it. But at the end of the day, that was still kind of how we felt we needed to play it. So. We can manage that better, call it better. You can always second guess what doesn't work. But what we got to do is get some stops too. If it's just let them off the hook way too much and got a little bit too vanilla. And really, you gave a 25 point lead in the last 20 minutes. Because I think it's five minutes and 15 seconds in the third quarter. So we gave up, you know, we scored 52 points and then we get shut out the last 20. So again, offense got to keep playing. We have some special team blunders. Uh, but again, like a lot of that football game, we're going to keep building on it. Not beat them up and go, up and go backwards. We're going to keep building. A lot of ball to be played. And we're going to play a tremendous Michigan State team this week up at their place. Talk about the emergence of Mike Mitchell. No, it was good to see. And I'd like to tell you, I thought it was going to happen. Didn't know. I mean, he's looked okay in practice, but you don't scrimmage. So it was just nice to see. I think that ignited Ricky because, again, we had not, I want to say one time, Ricky had what, 11, 11 carries for 28 yards. We've been averaging two, three yards of pop in there. So he had one big run. He's got to be more efficient. But it's nice to see Mike get going when you don't. When you have a freshman and you haven't played a lot, it's kind of sometimes hard to – how many times you want to give him the ball, you know, trusting him with the ball. But as we've now played, and you played the number one team in the country, you played at Penn State, these guys are now playing some games. So nice to see him come through. They're really not freshmen anymore. When you're going in your fourth game in Big Ten East, they've been exposed. and They're playing like a little bit more like men. It's good for Mike and appreciate him playing well. You said 
I guess there were some things you saw on your sideline you didn't like. Was it more kind of when you were up big or was well, up it? big. I just I saw some smiles I didn't like. And to me, we've been we have shown examples. I want to say Georgia, Tennessee, last week was 21-13. There's been a lot of examples of that. We go through and say, in this day and age of college football, you need to keep playing. You need to keep playing. And unfortunately, they kept playing. We did not. Whether it be play calling, execution, management, whatever, just as a collective group, you got to play the full 60 minutes, and we did. What did you think of Nate's performance? Obviously, he had you know 460 yards, but the two picks. Yeah, I mean, one was one we cut a coverage loose there. I think it was either third, nine, or fourth down, whatever, on a crossing route, and then we took a shot that uh, just kind of held up on him. So I thought he played well. It was he 32 or 42? Had three guys with a 100-yard game. It was good to get those receivers going. Still want to keep bringing the young guys along. It's just nice to have the offense back a little bit more attack mode, but we've got to be better. It seemed like he was moving pretty well back there. Is, I mean, is that ankle 100% yeah, I don't think you think? full, full speed, but uh, he had a good, he had a better week of practice leading up to this game than he did prior to Ohio State when he had hurt his ankle the week before. So I thought he'd be okay. Jordan Howard's getting close, and we'll see where he is. If it seems like a team's not mature enough to handle a lead like that in the second half, I guess what makes you think they'd be mature enough to bounce back from a, from a loss like this? Yeah, I don't know if, if it was mature enough as much as. Um, just keep playing. I mean, you keep learning, keep growing. So, I mean, all I know is we'll come in tomorrow and we'll look at the correctable things. We're not going to point fingers and blame. We're going to look on things as coaches we can do better. Everybody's got a job to do. Everybody's got to collect the part to help the team. We'll, we'll look at it. We expect everybody to get better and have a good week, and we will. So uh, kids kids are much more resilient than coaches and fans. They'll bounce back tomorrow, and they'll be good to go. We'll have a good week, and we're going to play a tremendous game. Right, thanks, guys. Anything else? Plays in the way. Thanks.